Hi guys! This is Darcy's Misadventures with Mixed Media, and this is just what I look like. I didn't get dressed up. I didn't do makeup. I didn't do my hair. Nothing. Sorry. Not sorry. I get it cut on Tuesday. It's, um, my, up uh, my, <laughs> it's getting long under there. <laughs> so it looks a little bit weird, but whatever. Um, I am working on cleaning in my studio today, and I wanted to tell you why. Uh, oh my goodness, my pants fell again. Okay, well, I recorded this a minute ago, and I forgot to plug in my microphone. So, I'm re-recording it. Hopefully I remember all the things I said. But I'm going to be doing a live stream on Sunday, because PM Artist Studio, who I usually watch on Sundays at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, um, Mariah's going to be out of town, and um, Patricia doesn't do the videography part of it, and there's no one left at home to do that when Mariah and Brad are out of town. So I'm going to be a uh, backup substitute, te like a substitute teacher, kind of, sort of, in a way. Um, and on Monday will be Eddie. Eddie makes art, so, you know, check him out, too. So, um, I decided that I needed, um, a more organized space if I'm going to do a live stream. Maybe that's what I need to keep my space organized. Maybe I need to live stream more often. I don't know. But anyway, so I'm going to be live streaming and, you know, I need a place for my, either my iPad or my computer so I can, you know, read comments while I'm doing things. And my son, Nathan, who's 23, is going to be my mod. I'm so excited. Um, cause he's kind of funny when he wants to be and sometimes not on purpose but um he said yeah, i don't really care if i do or not which kind of makes me perfect for it he said because you know if i really wanted to do it i might just be power hungry so he's like i'm perfect for it and he's thinking he, he keeps saying he wants to start his own channel but he's a perfectionist and so you know the perfect time the perfect video like nothing has aligned the the stars have not aligned perfectly for him to um start his channel sadly so this will give him some practice and maybe help him realize that perfection is not everything um i've had to learn to let go of perfection um as you know and also you know with my um executive dysfunction organization is not my strong suit so you know there's that so anyway, so I thought I'd come and chat a little bit while I work on my space to be a little bit more organized. Um, I don't think that I'll have my face up on camera like Mariah does, but if I do, um, I'll look prettier than this. <laughs> at least a little bit. I'll wear, I'll at least wear mascara. But, you know, I'm not, I'm not a fancy I don't, I don't know. I just, this is how I am at home and this is how you get me when you don't see my face. So why should I change when you do see my face? I don't know. I just need to get these things off the floor. This thing is leaning. Oh, it's, oh shoot. I need to put a board or something under there so it stops or pull it forward. But yeah, the whole thing leans forward because it's way too heavy to be on plastic drawers. That's why. So far, I've just been kind of piling, piling things on my desk. So my desk is going to need to get done. Um, what am I going to be working on in the live stream, you ask? I am going to be working on, let me just get these over here. I'm trying to make room behind me so I can put my carts behind me that have the, um, the mixed media carts. Because uh, I don't know why I ever had them way across the room. That was kind of dumb. That was not the wisest of decisions for me. Um, so I'm going to be working, i uh, making a, a journal for Mariah, which we've been calling a celestial journal and it, it's, it's going to have some celestial aspects and, uh, maybe Mariah will add more. I'm, I'm, I'm basically going to make the base of the journal and some colors and then give her some starting off points maybe. And then she's going to do the rest. She's going to decorate it and have fun with it. She's, that's what she's going to be doing. Um, when she gets it from me on her Monday makes, um, cause she does Monday mornings live streams at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 10 a.m. Central, which is where she is. Um, but one of my favorite covers that I've made is the one I made for my collage journal, where I did the all the, the ripped, whoops, and apparently have things that fall out. Oh, that's just one of the prompts, yeah. Um, 
Oh, I did the rip. It's going to be different because it's going to have not just paper bag layers. It's going to have other layers too. But I was like, yeah, kind of ripped. It might be fun and torn and just real fun with lots of edges sticking out. And that's a style I like. Hopefully she likes it. She's a little bit more neater than me, but... But she's still, I mean, she'll like it because it's made by me because, you know, she's sweet like that. But hopefully she'll like it because she likes it, not just because it's made by me. Um, but I want it to have interest and not be perfect and, you know, it's for me. It's got to be fun. What does that? I don't need that. And uh, so, yeah, I'm just kind of making space for that, pulling out papers as I clean up. Um, cause instead of just paper bag, I've got like some packaging, other packaging, some, um, maybe some, uh, tissue paper, uh, black tissue paper, or just maybe even some fabric and a layer in the cover and then the pages too. And, uh, yeah, we're going to get started for real started on that on Sunday. I'm going to have stuff together for it. It's going to hopefully be awesome. So if you can join me, I would love that. That'd be great. I would love your support. I know some people were at church during that time. I'm a little bit of a heathen that way. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love God. I believe in God. I believe in Jesus, Holy Spirit, all that. Um, but I am, I actually, I am less um, depressed <laughs> and less, it, like, I don't know. I know you're supposed to go to church, but I, I didn't, I don't know. I didn't find that it was super helpful. I mean, there's nice people at church and everything, but once you're not in the church anymore, they don't really have much to do with you other than one or two very special people. And, um, and so I'm like, well, I didn't make any real friendships at church then if I'm not still friends with them, you know, cause our, our church disbanded, like stopped being cause our pastor left. So that's a big, that was, and then COVID and then, you know, all that. And then, you know, Nathan with his autoimmune diseases. And so he is, um, you know, more susceptible to everything, not just COVID. So it makes it a little bit harder for us to get out and go out. And, you know, Mike has, you know, he, we have devotionals we listen to and stuff like that. And I'm always ready to, to pray for a, a need. And, um, I thank God and I, and I know that God has blessed me in so many ways and I'm so thankful, but, um, sadly I don't miss church. I don't know. It's the first time I've even talked about it or any of that. I just, well, most of the time I was working when I was in church. So I didn't get the fellowship that you're supposed to get when you're in church in small groups, maybe, but, um, there's not one person in a small group I've been in that keeps in contact with me. And, um, I mean, one of the leaders of the small group, uh, one time I, you know, tried to develop a friendship with her and asked if she wanted to go out to lunch and she was, she was not interested. And then everybody moves, everyone I ever become friends with moves away. So except for a couple, I've got a couple really good friends, you know, they're like me out of sight, out of mind, but so they, they don't get their feelings hurt if we don't talk for a while so much. So, you know, I do have friends. Don't worry. I do have friends and Christian friends too. Um, but, um, it's not the end all be all. I mean, I got you guys. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Um, but you know, if you ever wondered where I stood, that's where I stand. Um, but I wouldn't say that I'm conservative or liberal. I'm actually unaffiliated. So politically. You're not going to get me to say much one way or the other because, I don't know, it depends on the person and everything. So, and I, and I disagree with a lot of things on, on both sides of the, of the thing. So, and I agree with things on both sides. So, I can tell you my, my son would get along really well with Patricia. Let's put it that way. So, he's, he's, he's our little liberal. He, he, he picked a side. My husband's the opposite. He picked a side. I'm like, no. Nope. My other son and I are like, no, I'm not picking a side. I'm going to go with what's right at the time. I guess. I guess that's what we do. Why am I talking about all this? I don't know. I'm just rambling. I may regret it. I may not put this one up. I may have to do a third one just so that uh, y'all don't think I'm insane. 
I don't know. Or you learn something about me, and maybe I'll gain some subscribers. Maybe I'll lose some subscribers. I don't know. I mean, I try not to be wishy-washy, but I also don't have strong opinions about things. Unless someone's being hurt. I don't, like, legitimately hurt. So, yeah. Get all these scraps. So many little pieces. I don't like to clear off my floor when you guys are here because then you're like, ew, I don't want anything from her. It's been on her floor. My floor's fine. I mean, this is one of the got nice... Yeah, I mean, no garbage gets spilled on this floor. It's my craft floor. It's paint and whatnot and all the things. Oh, I should totally put a layer of the, the glassine in her cover because that's what all her stuff gets mailed out in. The, the PM Artist Studio stuff. Oh. So, yeah, all this just to say I am actually cleaning today. So if you're cleaning along with me, tell me. I want to know. Am I doing this alone? Or are you... Uh, Hanging out with me while I'm cleaning up and making space for my carts behind me. And like I said, I don't know if I'll put my face on on Sunday or not. But and in case you missed it, I'll be live streaming Sunday at 11 a.m. Central. No, 10 a.m. Central, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, which makes it what? 11, 10, 9, 8 a.m. Pacific. Is that is that right? 11, 10, 9, 8. You guys are three hours behind us. So um. And yeah, and Mariah's like, well, you should probably have a moderator. And I did, I, I did ask someone, um, but you know, she's been out of town and doing laundry, so. But then I was, had a couple more people I was thinking about asking. So it's not that I didn't want to ask you guys, but Sunday mornings is hard to find people. And I kind of uh, figured um, that Lisa at least might have church or a car show or something. So I just like, oh, I don't want to bother her and make her feel guilty if she can't. So, and Eddie's doing his on Monday anyway, and he's got Paula, 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 I don't know, P-A, any, anyway, Paula, Paula, I say Paula, I guess, because it's P-A, is it P-A-U-L-L-A -L -L -A or P-A-O-L, I don't know, I don't know, but we love her, <laughs> so, um, but then my son was like extra chatty this morning with me. His, uh, I think his Dungeons and Dragon thing got uh, canceled for today because the uh, the dungeon master just wasn't into it today. <laughs> so what happens when you've got neurodivergent people doing games? You're like, well, they might have spoons for it or they might not. And I guess he didn't have enough spoons to play today. Uh, spoons is a thing for if you have like an autoimmune disease or neurodivergent and you just don't have the energy. Like say you have fibromyalgia. And some days you have might have ten spoons and can get a lot done, and some days you might only have two spoons. And basically, just getting yourself fed and dressed is sometimes not even dressed is all you can manage in a day. So that's when I talk about spoons. That's what I'm talking about because my son he has type one diabetes and Addison's disease and Hashimoto's thyroiditis. So his days are determined by how he feels. And some days he just kind of lays in bed in all day because that's about all he can handle and is on his phone and that distracts him from the pain because he does have daily pain. It's just he only complains about it when it gets extra bad. And my husband doesn't quite understand that. And he's like, why is he still in bed? I'm like, he might not have slept good last night. He might have done extra yesterday that tired him out for today. And I get it because I have days like that. I have weeks like that sometimes. And so... I get it, but my husband doesn't because he is one of those go, 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 go until you pass out at night or pass out because you sat still for five minutes. So he just, he just doesn't get it. He really doesn't. So yeah, see, I'm going to use a few, a couple different types of bags too, because some bags are thinner than others. Like this one feels thicker and when, when mom's organic want me to recycle it, yes, they would. So, and I also have this one really interesting packaging paper which this stuff's not strong enough unless I maybe put paint on it but if I leave it together maybe I don't know this who knows who knows how this his thing is gonna turn out so you guys need to come and watch me make the if I can wait till Sunday to make the cover because I might even I don't know I know people want to see the cover I'm definitely gonna be between now and Sunday getting the papers together so there's that and um 
So you may see another video from me of me like gel printing um, just to get some more paper. Some more paper for the journal to glue down or to send with it. And um, so yeah, there's that. So let's see, how long has this been? 15 minutes? That's probably enough to have a look at my face. So I'm going to keep working in my area here, my space, and see what other papers and whatnot. Ooh, these are the dips. I found these in a magazine, these sauces and stuff. And my, my son, Nathan, the same one that's going to mod for me on Sunday. Did I mention that I'm doing a lunch? <laughs> Have I annoyed you with that enough yet? Anyway, he really loves sauces and dips. So I made sure to save those and not use them in a, in a glue book because... Oh, I have to put those over on the other side. Um, ooh. See, I like the texture of this paper, but I don't know about green for Celestial. So I might... Hmm. Might, might use it, might not. We'll see. Ooh, I've got oh yeah, all these textury papers that I'm going to want to add some of those. So I need to keep those... Available. Ooh, sorry, that probably affected the microphone. That I remember to plug in this time on this very revealing video of me with no makeup and talking about things I don't normally talk about. This is my Mamagami paper. It doesn't have the lotion on it. I just sanded it. But that could be fun in there. I don't know. This is just more paper that somebody gave me. And what's this? See, this was just interesting packaging, isn't it? I don't remember what it came in, but I had never seen anything like it before, and you know, I remember saying that. That's what we do in the Shire. That's how we roll in the Shire. So I think, um, uh, like, rip, rip in the time continuum, I think, might be kind of, sort of, the name of this journal, maybe. Since we've got the ripped, the ripped pages and covers and... And we might have some runes and some constellations and just who knows what. Just it's gonna be eclectic. I mean, I'm the one that made her like come up with a with a uh, theme, and now I'm like diverting from the theme. But I don't think she'll care. I think she'll just be happy to have something to play in. All right, um, I'm gonna sign off now and I'm gonna keep working and hopefully I'll make a video before Sunday. And if not, I will see you guys Sunday morning. If you're there, if not, feel free to wait and watch the replay. I know I know, I have at least one subscriber who doesn't like to do lives, and that's fine. I love you. And, um, you know, I know you'll watch the replay because you're just so nice like that. Um, she's also one of the people that comments the most. So well, I'm not going to, like, throw her under the bus or anything. Just because she doesn't like to watch lives. That, that's like, who cares? Some people that don't, it's just too much to keep up, especially with the chat. It's just, I don't know. Some people love the chat. Some people don't. Uh, come in, tell me you're here, or lurk, uh, you know, whatever you do, I'll just appreciate having your support, so I hope you guys have a delightful day, and I love you, bye.